Two years ago, the war mind Rasputin helped humanity defeat the Hive on the Martian frontier. On that day, it swore to protect us. Now, it may be the only thing that can. The Red Legion has one last play. They have boarded their superweapon, the Almighty, and it's on the move. You already destroyed its star-killing munitions, but whatever the Legion hopes to achieve won't end well for us. They once took the tower. They will take nothing else. We'll see to that. Copy, Commander. I've located the central manifold. It seems the Cabal have disabled the ship's MAV thrusters. They killed the steering on this thing? Any idea what that was? Checking. That explosion came from the propulsion deck. The Cabal have taken out the primary engine. Have you made it to the bridge yet? Just a moment. They've destroyed the ship's navigation system. We're a dead stick. None of this makes any sense. No nav, no engine, no way to steer or change course. It's like they want this thing to drift off into space forever. Not forever. Guardian, the Almighty is plummeting towards the last city and we have no way to stop it. Anna believes that the Warmind Rasputin can prevent this catastrophe. It hasn't helped us before. I don't trust it will now. But I failed to get the job done. Now all I can do is prepare the city for all possible contingencies. Go to Anna. Get her whatever she needs. Rasputin swore to protect humanity. It's time we hold it to that promise. What a time to be alive. I don't think anyone has ever thrown a spaceship at us before. So that's new. Rasputin's main resources are scattered throughout the system. It'll take months to recall all his war sats from deep space, and we're going to need something big to break through the Almighty's hull. Rasputin has a plan B. He's firing up the support systems linked to old Braytech bunkers spec'd for arms production. We'll have to drop in and finalize the connections manually. They're on closed networks. Hmm. Let's pay Big Red a visit first. Look, I know arming the Warmind doesn't sit well with the Vanguard, but it's either that or we lose the city.
Guardian, head into Rasputin's mind lab. It's taken a little convincing to get him on board. The system's becoming a dangerous place. I get the sense that he's worried. I've never seen that from him before. The last time the Guardians teamed with Rasputin, we were able to topple a Hive God. With Rasputin on our side, the Almighty doesn't stand a chance. War minds are complex and hard to predict. Rasputin's priorities are constantly shifting, but I know he'll do what's right. Don't mind the Cabal. Big Red can handle it. Rasputin's on board. There's something he needs to show you in the EDZ. I think he likes you. Multiple contacts! Okay, Rasputin. Let's get you plugged in. This interface is... So convoluted! Buy me some time! Take as long as you need, I have your back. Damn firewall! The access point doesn't recognize my login. Connection locked. Good to see you, Guardian. Indeed. Anna, are you certain we can't operate this bunker from the tower? Interfacing Rasputin's mainframe with these systems is the only way we'll get the firepower we need. Hopefully the Warmind remembers where to point said firepower. You think he'll miss? I'm more concerned with whether it will pull the trigger. He's a Warmind, Zavala. He understands the stakes. Rasputin has been silent for too long while Guardians hold the line. You gotta have a little faith. Faith is self-evident. If it's between you and Rasputin, I'll put my faith in you. Listen, he's on our side. Then I hope it proves me wrong. Crawling with Hive. Keep an eye out while I hook Rasputin in. Some of this netcode is ancient. I hear what people say behind my back. You know, that I'm a brave first and a guardian second. Selfishly chasing my past. But Rasputin and I have been busy scouring the system. Not for ourselves. We were looking for Golden Age relics. Hunting down the deep stone crypt, chasing loose threads. It wasn't just weapons. Old nanomets, construction servos, disease-resistant crop strains. Finds that would make a real difference in people's lives. We assumed Zavala and the Vanguard could handle any immediate threats, but... We could have done more. Insist you understand the stakes. Convince me. Hmm. Our enemy reveals itself. The shadow is long and close. Is this what's had your attention? 
Preparations to fight? To rebuild? To run? Mayday, 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 this is NFV Meritursa 16. 11,000 souls in cryo sleep aboard. We are, uh, we are a few minutes out of New Pacific Arcology. We were struck by debris in a large wave. Fusion plant offline. We can see extensive, catastrophic damage to one of the Arcology domes. Oh, oh, it's gone over. Respond if able. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is New Pacific Arcology on guard. Declaring a sundown loss of habitability event. We have 2.9 million souls aboard. We repeat, Titan is no longer safe for human life. The Collapse. You were there. You gave everything to a cause and saw it all swept away. You're afraid to fail. Again. So am I. I've never considered how it must have felt to live through the Collapse. From this day, we speak as allies, not warriors who seek to wield each other as weapons. After we break the Almighty, the city will devote whatever resources you need towards banishing these Dark Omens. When they come, we will stand together, as equals, as guardians. Let's work together. Let's talk. This is where I'm getting the weird readings from. There's old Rasputin data associated with a few coordinates on this mountain. And I mean old. Dark Age. Huh. I didn't think he was active after the collapse. See what you can find. There's a record here of Rasputin executing an order to deploy assault frames. A whole army of them. But the target was a single EXO. Why would he need all of this for just one? There's a Warmind Intelligence transcript associated with this spot. It references SIVA. But it doesn't make sense to me. From what I knew, the Iron Lords went after Siva themselves. Felwinter wanted to use it to build up the city. And I thought Rasputin reprogrammed Siva to attack them when they entered the vault. But this says he gave Siva a new directive long before that. He was using it as... bait. The Iron Lords didn't go after Siva on their own. Rasputin led them to it. I'm picking up a transcript of an old communication order. Rasputin sent it out to his submines. He identified a threat in old Russia. Looks like there was a data breach of some kind. I don't know what it was, but he threw out a lot of firepower. Dropped a warsat right on top of it. telling a story. In a time of great prosperity, a tyrant king sent his son to live among the people and learn their ways. He did so for many years, until a great calamity befell the kingdom. In the aftermath, the tyrant's son was changed. The tyrant's son turned away from his father and became a warrior. The tyrant chased his son across fields and mountains and oceans. He said, if I can't have my son, then no one shall. In the end, 
The tyrant used his son's love of the people against him. He promised him a miraculous technology that could rebuild the kingdom. When his son came to claim it, he unleashed a plague upon him. His son was destroyed. And the tyrant looked upon his tyranny and wept. Is Rasputin... Is he talking about himself? I think the tyrant's son... This looks like the casing of an old safety AI, but marked with Rasputin symbol. These transcripts suggest his original code was for... a sort of emergency response system from pre-Golden Age space stations. Checking oxygen levels, fuel, that kind of thing. Clovis Bray took a safety AI and turned it into an interplanetary defense system with sentience. And Rasputin kept all this, almost like a scrapbook of his past. A way to remember his roots. And he showed it to us. When did he learn to be so sentimental? Wish Zavala could see this. I don't know. Let's begin. Down to business. Down to business. When a shadow falls, another rises. So many lights, so little time. Welcome to the Trials of Saint-14. <laughs> no, no. You have come to take part in the Trials of Osiris, have you not? To be formed into a blade of the light. I will help you achieve this. This is not Shaxx's crucible, my friend. Saladin's wolves are nowhere to be held in my ring. Here you will fight together, or you will fail. We are pressed from all sides. This is nothing new. Between Rasputin's guns and my training, you will become a beacon of the light. Shine bright. Soon, the darkness will have no shadows left to hide in. The next time bullies come crashing on our gates, I will be here to answer.
Welcome to the Lighthouse Guardian. This place is for fire teams that show skill, decisiveness, and command. The best fire teams. That means you. Congratulations. Your victories bear rewards. Go. Take it. Use what you have learned. Fight your way to the top. And soon, I will see you here again and again. Those you have triumphed over will look to your example, your guidance, your hope. These will be precious tools in the trying times to come. Fight, win, and fight again. This is your duty.
The Almighty has been reduced to smoldering ash thanks to you and Rasputin. Our success serves as a reminder that we're in this fight together. Allegiances have never been more important. Together, we'll overcome whatever enemy we face. And with allies like Rasputin, who can stop us? Still in one piece?